<laughs> Jason just spotted some dolphins out Ooh. way, way, oh, way. Oh, they're close now. They're coming. Oh, they're coming closer. <gasps> Get to the front just in Ooh. case. First time I would have been on land in like 24 hours. <laughs> so we just anchored up on this little beach. The weather is beautiful. We're going to go for a walk around the island and see if we can find any um, close reef systems to cast a rod at. Just got onto the beach here. It is gorgeous. It's completely made up of shells. We've just spotted a little. See you He's coming to check us out. Oh, how incredible. He's busy. Let's have my first cast off this rocky bank. And as soon as it hit the water, a tailor has smacked it right away. Oh. Look at that green back. Oh, right up. And just like that. Hey, hey. Look at the aerial. Oh, hey! It's amazing that you can see all of his mates coming by and him. Yeah. Here we go. See you later. Into the wave, Hey! That's big. How are we going to do this? We're going round to the cut, honey. We've got to take him round to the cut. Woo! Look at that baldy. Do you want me to try and get him round there? Can you try and grab the leader? I can, but we're going to pull that out from here. We need to get this just there, that cut. Okay. Do you want me to take or are you gonna go you good? Oh. Alright, so on this fresh squid, I just hooked it up. Jason's bringing it around for me. Right, when I grab the leader, um put the bail. Oh man, I cannot even describe the level of stoked right now. That is a big fat boldy, definitely my best. And seriously, you wouldn't even, the, the, the cast was so shallow, that's incredible. It's nice and cool today, so we're going to have a few more casts before taking this boy back to the boat. Because it's only day two of our trip here, um, I'm going to cut him up, probably have some ceviche aid this morning, use as much of that fish as we can and maybe cook some up in some wraps for tea. To take my boldy and it just about tore him off the rock. It was such a big bite. Gonna run down to here again. Look at that beautiful fish. Woohoo! <laughs> so badly. So we've got this nice little sluice up where we can land fish. Evie's just walking a baldy round to it. This buildy beats mine, so both of uh, Evie's baldies are better than me. Wow. Good wave. Oh. Here we are. Got him. Look at that, and we still got our bait. Done. Can you believe it? Easy. Oh, right. That is a monster. Oh. All right. So we've got the black magic circle hook, so you can see it just gets them perfectly in the corner of the mouth. Um, 
I don't, you don't really have to retrieve much with these hooks, so you just let them eat the bait down. As soon as you feel them pulling on that line, slowly lean back on it and it just sets the hook perfectly. And we've got the Saragossa reel on the Shimano rod as well. And it just makes the fight so good. Look at the colour of the eye. I don't know if it's still filming because this screen's gone. Oh, that's oh, fine. Oh yeah, it's fine. Sorry. Look at the eye. Woo! Oh, done. Another one. <laughs> All right. We're walking back to the boat now. Like I said, we walked around that entire island, so it is a bit of a trek. Jason managed to hunt me down a little cray rope here. So I've got the fish attached to the bottom of that. Walking in back, taking little breaks, swapping arms. But we're nearly there. <laughs> we're nearly there. We've got a little um, beach party with the other boats that are in this area actually tonight. So that'll be a good opportunity to cook up some fish. Because we can't, we don't want to store it for too long, obviously, on the boat. But um, stoked to have it. That'll be our protein for the next day or two, I'd reckon. It's still just absolute magic out here. Alrighty. So I'm going to fill up the fish on the beach here. It is a little bit shelly. It's not quite sand, so I'm not too worried about the fillet getting muck in it or anything like that i um was not allowed to bring the full kit had to leave one knife home for ben in case he caught some fish while i've been away so that's why we're missing a knife but um yeah i'll get into it all right me personally i always go in with this little one first especially for baldies um i think i've said it before i just like how short it is and direct it is um it, yeah it's quite a slippery fish with really big tough scales so i want to have as much control as possible don't want too much flex i definitely don't want to slip so i always start with this one if it's a small enough fish i'll just finish the fillet with this instead of going in with the bigger knife but i'll see how it goes it's all filleted up I'm gonna pop those fillets in the fridge where jason just went and said hi to the neighbors he's making his way back <laughs> what a life hey Jason has found himself an unexpected dinner guest. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but this is the same seal that's visited us every day. She comes up to the boat, does laps around Jason, and just <laughs> is the most playful thing on the planet. Hello. Hey. Is she sniffing? She sniff. mm. Shovel, look at that shovel. That is huge. Is that one of those black shovel nuts? They're really rare, aren't they? They look remore on his back. Oh wow, look at that. Wow. Hey! Are they the black ones? Yep, the black ones. It's the sandy ones that are common. Especially at this size. Wow, what a... Oh. Ben said you're meant to report them if you see them because they're that rare. I can't believe this. We're just about to have dinner and we are surrounded by these two beautiful shovel nose rays that just keep doing laps of the boat. We've had a dolphin and her baby come by. 
and of course Jason just frolicking with that sea lion. <laughs> All in about 10 to 15 minutes. So we're just weathering the storm at the moment. Massive, massive strokes of lightning. You can see it coming through this little sunroof here. And um, Jason says it's maybe 10 k's away, but it seems to be coming straight for us. So a lot of rain, a lot of wind. We seem to be holding anchor at the minute, but see how we go. It's probably gonna be a pretty rough night on the boat tonight. Yeah. <laughs> After a magical day of nothing but glass offs, so we'll see.